The Visa Stadium was completely sold out. Over 42,000 were here today against Dortmund, last season's champions. Up front here, Claudio Pizarro, who just returned from international duty late the day before at quarter to ten. Bremen here in green from right to left. This was Claudio Pizarro with early warning signals into the game, just 17 minutes played. And then the yellow and blacks, just a few minutes later, showed that they too could shoot a goal. That was young Chris Lerva, the 22-year-old. The goalkeeper, Sebastian Militz, was there at the right place at the right time. Four minutes later, and here the cross from Robert Lewandowski, Mario Goetze, the young wonderkind, as he's called here in Germany. Coming close, but not close enough. Lewandowski, Goetze, and still nil-nil. Another couple of minutes later, end-to-end -end stuff here, and that was a shot from Rosenberg. Marcus Rosenberg watched from the sidelines here from the head coach from Borussia Dortmund, Jurgen Klopp. Another minute later, and it would be another opportunity for the green and whites this time from Bargfreder. An interesting game of football between these two that really turned out to be a battle right to the bitter end. Werder Bremen, the only team to win all four matches at home so far this season. And then on 30 minutes, it was Claudio Pizarro who tried his luck again. Great cross from Rosenberg. Pizarro with perfect timing on the volley. The deflection from Hummels and Weidenfeller was there. Bremen coming forward and throwing everything they had. Here with Schmitz, good work from him. Weidenfeller with a half clearance, the header from Bargfreder, and then, just before the line, it was Lerva to clear away the danger. And then with three minutes to go before the half-time whistle, it was Robert Lewandowski. Pass to Bender. He found Ivan Perisic, the Croatian. And he found the back of the net in style. Terrific goal from the Croatian international. His second goal for his new club after arriving this summer from Bruges for five and a half million. Bender kept his footage. Perisic kept his calm. And Dortmund were leading against Bremen by one goal to nil. Dortmund have a worse record playing at Bremen than they do away at any other current Bundesliga team. They have won just six of their 43 away matches. But at half-time, they were leading by one goal to nil. Now we join the game again in the second half. This is the first minute of the second half. Pizarro here on the ball. Lovely little flick and Socrates coming forward was felled, brought down brutally by Perisic. Now, he had already seen a yellow card in the first 45 minutes. The hero down to zero. Well, he would be sent off by the referee, Florian Meyer, with his second yellow. And then, of course, the red card. Jurgen Klopp maybe not quite agreeing with the referee, but I think that was the correct decision. So the ten men of Dortmund had to battle away here against Werder Bremen. They're still leading by one goal to nil. This is the 53rd minute. Pizarro beating everybody. And the opportunity from Wolf blasted way over the top of the goal. Couple of minutes later, and Dortmund had their chance. Patrick Overmoyela. For his very first appearance in the team this season, he found Lewandowski in the centre. The man that was involved in all four goals in that victory against Augsburg last time out. A further minute later, and Dortmund, with their ten men, were turning it on his style, and Gundogan in the area, according to the Dortmund supporters, was fouled by Wolf. Well, there was a call in there, but no penalty given. Ten minutes later, Bremen threw everything forward that they had. This was Schmitz. And how unlucky can you get? Lucas Schmitz 
the day before this game had just turned 23 and that could have been his first goal in the Bundesliga this season. With just less than 20 minutes remaining, it was commotion in the area, but the ball finally came through to that man, Patrick Overmoyela. And it was 2-0, and was he happy? The last time he scored a goal, it was two years ago. So many injury worries. Twice, it was Hummels who brought the ball back into the area. Overmoyela not in an offside position because Fritz was closer to the goal line. So 2-0 against Schaaf's 11. Could this be the first defeat this season at home for Werder Bremen? But it was still the visiting team who were looking the sharper of the two here on the counter-attack. That was Kevin Grosskreutz. Couldn't find Mario Götze in the centre. And that was the last chance of the game. Just the seventh win now on the 44th appearance here for Dortmund at Werder Bremen. All three points in the bag. And because of the better goal difference, they leapfrog Thomas Schaaf and Werder Bremen. And at least for the Friday, they go on second position in the Bundesliga. A great comeback for the defending reigning German champions.